Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Arman Atem from Arlupa. Uh, Arlupa is AR and VR development startup, uh, which is founded in 2014. And we have uh, two, two services, like we are providing the custom label dubs based on our own platform, and we are providing AR hosting services. This means we are making the AR more easy for, for people to, to, to create their experiences and to host their experiences in the cloud without spending like, too much money for creating constabops. You can see that the, na the different companies that we are working for, and the main focus is for us, if it's a commercial use, that uh, it should be connected to the sales and the company should be benefited. If it's a social project, if it's a social component, we should make the good impact for them. And a uh, number of uh, companies have chosen us to work with them. But today we are going to speak more specific cases about the museums uh, and the cities that are using our service and how they are benefiting from it. So uh, what is our app is do? It's simply like it's AR camera. You can scan any printed object and you can see augmented reality content with it. So you, you can download the R-Loop app, by the way, right now. So we have some few markers here that you can scan and later on you can visit our stand to get more. So what's the idea behind of this? So imagine when uh, you are going to the museum, nowadays the, the new generation doesn't want to take these audio guides and so on. So it's more natural that you can take off your phone with the special app or even the general app and can scan every picture and get the information in any languages that you want. So it's, it's, it's getting more easier and more natural because you are not taking other headsets there is um, no uncomfort situation when you are wearing any other like headphones, but you are doing with your own. And do you can also store the data from the museum. Like you can store this information right to your device uh, after this augmentation. Now we want to show some practical case, like how we have worked with the artist and how we did some AR. Igor, can you, may I invite you to join us? And we bring here actually the, the work that Igor will introduce. Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Igor Kapibaribi. I am sales rep and creative for Aruba for Northern California. And I'm also an artist. And um, one of my works that I do with my clients, I do fine art photography. And this particular piece, if you have a chance to come by our booth after this and just take a look closer, um, I shot this client um, with, uh, with a drone. And um, she actually going to walk and move off, scre off screen. So the idea of working with our looper with this is that the simplicity that it can have your content associated with a marker, and it's going to be available for everyone. It's so simple. Uh, but the whole concept that comes with this is like working with museums and artists. You're going to be able to implement buttons on the screen that I can see who the artist is where you can find him, if you can find tickets, if you want to buy books, if you want to buy pictures of any other works that they would have. And this is really simple and accessible and it's scalable. An artist can just have a work and call his client and say, take a look at this art in a month and I'm gonna be able to sell you a layer of the making off of who I am or poetry or anything related to that. So um, it's a great opportunity to be working with our open if you ever need something to go and do with that, just create content and the market and the marker. It's pretty simple and it's going to make a really big impact in museums and um, art galleries for our, and for the uh, artist community in general. Thank you. Thank you, Igor. Uh, so the idea is that uh, imagine that artists who are taking the photos, like uh, they, they could have additional layer to their photos. If it's a painter who is painting the picture, they can have additional layer on their paintings. And going to the forward with this idea, we, we, we started to think about like how this, like for example, the Pokemon Go was affected because the most of the users was the young kids. And if we would like to see, like uh, to communicate with them, we have to speak with their own languages. And with this idea, with, in our mind, we went to the Ministry of Culture of Armenia and we pitched them the idea that let's make the monuments in, in our city to come alive. So the idea is that the people, like tourists or the citizens, when they are scanning the statue, they can see that person's 3D avatar who is sharing like, the important message that he, like who is he and what, what he have done. So by this way, the people starting to get the additional new layer of the content 
right in the city. So this the second app is kind of like a white label of ours. It exists in the market. So another tech that is very important now and what we are also using, it's a 3D scanning. So by 3D scanning, we can get the real person who, who, who is active right now, who is uh, like an uh, important person for future, and the new monuments not going to be the static, as we know. In the future, the monuments going to be augmented. They're going to be holographic. And having this now on our mind, we have to scan the people who are, who are doing really good job, like who are doing really impact for our society, and we should make their monuments in a totally new way. So in future, the new generations will see them through the augmented reality or in virtual reality by, by 3D scanning. So those are the few pictures that we have get, and also the tourists who are coming to the city, they are also enjoying this experience because they, they, they somehow interacting with the culture and they are knowing the people like who this monument is, they can easily scan and get more information. Another case that is very popular Imagine that uh, you, are, you are going to the home museum of the Albert Einstein. Imagine how, how it could be like if the messages, like if, if the core information you can get from his avatar. So through our platform, it's possible for any museum to create their own 3D avatars and have in their museums, to have the markers in their museum and they can do this augmentation in their places. Uh, we did this experience uh, with uh, very, very famous uh, Armenian writer, William Saryan. Uh, on his celebration, we have created the special room. It was the room almost decorated from the famous pictures that we have on, on our days. And we have created the 3D avatar, which is appearing there with a certain message. Uh, you can imagine that it was mind-blowing experiences for people who were not, like, know about the AR, like older ages, and are visiting there and getting this type of information. And another, uh, like, couple of 3D scans and the 3D objects that we have created is, exist in our, uh, like, you can visit our booth to get more information. We are in booth number 200. Another uh, practical case that we want to show that we have worked on, uh, this, this is a painting of the, uh, one of the most famous Armenian painters. Uh, and we came with the idea that why not to experience this painting in a new way? Why not to be appear inside of the painting? And uh, our team have created the immersive experience that you are traveling inside of the picture. So you are appearing inside of this 3D environment and you are experiencing it in a virtual reality. So again, we want to have uh, as a next step of development for the museums, like again, they can upload the picture and if the picture is, is in a way that you can be inside, you, if you can experience it, if you will scan this with, the, with our lupa, it will turn into the VR mode and the museum can provide you the cardboard to experience this inside. So not, not just the watching the gallery, but also to experiencing it, to being inside of it. So currently we are, uh, I can say, um, we have those clients with whom we are working for. We are here more to get advice. I can say if you have some interesting approaches, if you want to share anything, we will appreciate any feedback that you have. Thank you.